Welcome to another educational video by my solo 401k financial. Please like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. In today's presentation, we will review the important considerations in choosing a self-directed solo 401k provider. Choosing a self-directed solo 401k provider is an important part of growing your retirement funds and keeping your plan in compliance with the government. It does not need to be a difficult decision. The steps on these slides will give you a methodical and organized framework to make that important decision. In choosing a self-directed solo 401k provider, an important first step is to determine how robust of a solo 401k plan you need. If you open up a, a simple or bare bones solo 401k plan, you will end up having to chain provide, change providers later, including all of the work that go along, goes along with that. So a great place to start is by looking at reviews, positive versus negative, the years in business that the provider has had, just to ensure that you will receive the required service. That you'll end up needing. So let's dig a little deeper on that first important factor, experience and responsive service. Exper experience should definitely be a big factor in choosing a solo 401k provider. Work with, a, work with a provider that has experience in all aspects of the plan features. So think about what you're going to use it for, contributions, loans, investments, etc. It's also important to consider how responsive that provider is. If you have to call in and you cannot get your question answered, or you have to wait days for a response, then that could end up negatively impacting whatever it is you're trying to do, whether it's take a loan, meet an important investment deadline, meet an important contribution deadline, or just otherwise answering important compliance questions. My solo 401k financial is fully staffed, has been in business since 2009, and has over 100 positive five-star reviews on the Better Business Bureau with no negative reviews. A couple more important key factors in choosing a self-directed solo 401k provider are reporting and loans. Now, first with reporting, you want to make sure that the provider will be there for you and won't just simply wash its hands after setting up the plan. So reporting can include annual reporting, like a 5500 EZ, distribution or conversion reporting that's handled on the 1099R, as well as required IRS plan updates. Those could be major updates or minor updates. Not all providers are going to perform that reporting. So that's a very important consideration. So you don't have to track down a tax advisor or other advisor that would handle that for you to make sure it's done correctly. Another factor here is loans. So the ability to borrow from a solo 401k plan depends on the, the way that the plan has been set up. So not all plan providers will allow you to borrow from your solo 401k. Of course, if you do borrow, the funds can be used for any purpose. So you may need to access these funds to grow your business or to cover personal unexpected expenses. So you want to aim to open up a solo 401k plan with a participant loan feature. Keep in mind that the loan feature is not available for IRAs, so it has to be a qualified plan. And then again, a solo 401k plan provider, which does allow for those loans, and then of course is going to prepare the required loan documents. Keep in mind that both participants can borrow from their solo 401k funds. So if it's a husband and wife that have their own business and they each have solo 401k funds, they could each borrow up to 50% of their balance, not to exceed $50,000. A couple more important factors are investments and contributions. So you want, you want to consider the investments that you want to make. 
So with a solo 401k, if you choose the right provider, those investment options could, could be very broad. So you could be real estate, promissory notes, precious metals, Bitcoin, private company investments, just to name a few. As again, as long as you have a provider that's not gonna place restrictions on the investment options that you can make. So you also wanna consider, again, that, that, that the provider is gonna offer the support as well and has experience with those types of investments because you will likely have questions about the mechanics of how to make those investments. So aim to choose a provider whose plan document allows for investing in alternative investments as well as equities. Also look for a solo 401k self-directed provider who has a plan that allows for in investing in any investment that's not prohibited under the Internal Revenue Code. So that would be the important question to ask. And a good, a good tip here is that being able to invest in multiple types of investments will allow for diversification. So you're not just all invested, say, in the stock market. You might be invested in the stock market and real estate. So you can achieve the, that important uh, diversification for your investment portfolio. Now, in terms of contributions, keep in mind that there are multiple types of contributions that you can make to a solo 401k if you choose a provider that allows you to do so. So you wanna aim for a solo 401k provider that offers a plan that offers all types of contributions, including pre-tax contributions, Roth contributions, and voluntary after-tax contributions. Even if you don't plan on utilizing those all right away, because again, if you then have to change providers, you, there's gonna be a lot of work entailed in changing up accounts, moving funds, et cetera, et cetera. And keep in mind that you wanna make sure that again, that you have a provider that has experience and expertise in knowing how all these different contributions rules work so that you can make sure that you make the contributions in a compliant fashion. Most providers offer plans that allow for, of course, pre-tax contributions. Some also do allow for Roth, but very few allow for the voluntary after-tax contributions. And that is very important if you're looking to really maximize and supercharge the amount of funds that are gonna go into your Roth solo 401k through what, they, through what is referred to as a mega backdoor Roth setup. Now, another important factor here is you decide this solo 401k provider that you want to work with is how you control your money. So if you're looking for checkbook control, wire control, which, which can very much relate to the type of investment you want to make, you want to choose a provider that, offer that offers that feature. Because what that translates to is... Um, no, no hold times, no wait times to process alternative investments, no investment processing fees. So an important tip to consider here is that a solo 401k from my solo 401k financial allows for both checkbook and wire control. And that could either be from a bank or a brokerage account. So a lot of the brokerage firms do offer checkbook control. Now let's look at the audit guarantee consideration. So of course, if you're gonna choose a provider that has experience and expertise, you wanna make sure that that provider is gonna stand, stand behind their plan and their service. So you wanna look for a provider who has thousands of clients, so they've really seen and experienced all the different types of situations that might come up and has a 100% audit success rate. Because this is really is a strong indicator of an excellent combination of experience and expertise. Now that we've gone through those important considerations, let's, let's look at the different types of providers out there. So 
You've got providers that offer self-directed and checkbook control plans like my solo 401k financial. So you can invest by writing a check or by a wire. That could be a bank or a, or a brokerage account or even both. So also consider whether or not that provider is gonna to try to force you to go to a specific bank. With my solo 401k financial, we have clients at hundreds of different banks and many different brokerages. Look for a provider that offers all three contribution types, Roth, pre-tax, and of course, the voluntary after-tax. So you can take advantage of the very high uh, Roth contribution limits through a mega backdoor Roth. You wanna make sure that that provider is gonna handle annual reporting like the 5500EZ or a 1099R like my solo 401k financial does. You wanna look for a provider that offers an audit guarantee, and then of course, can demonstrate their great service and expertise through very strong reviews and years in the business. So with my solo 401k financial, we have over a hundred five-star reviews on the Better Business Bureau with no negative reviews, along with over 10 years in the business. A second type of uh, solo 401k provider will offer that self-directed feature, but is not going to allow you to have direct control over your money. So no checkbook. So examples of these types of providers would be American IRA, Pensco Trust, Provident Trust, Equity Trust, and IRA Services Trust Company. So these types of providers don't offer checkbook control and the annual fees are a few hundred dollars more per year. Brokerage firms. So this would be Vanguard, Fidelity, Schwab, E-Trade, Oppenheimer. These firms do offer solo 401k plans, but they only allow for equity investing. Banks do offer solo 401k plans. So that could be Wells, Chase, Bank of America. You can't self-direct your solo 401k funds with the solo 401k offered by a bank. And these firm, these banks only allow for investing in mutual funds and CDs. Of course, with the solo 401k provided by my solo 401k financial, you will have access to a bank account. You can still do everything that you can with the solo 401k offered by a bank. Likewise, with a like a, a solo 401k offered by a brokerage, you get all of that, plus you get all the other features. Lastly, insurance companies, Nationwide, Mass Mutual, Allianz, Pacific, Voya, Sun America, they offer solo 401k plans as well, but only allow for investing in annuities. So again, you can get this with the solo 401k, with the truly self-directed solo 401k with checkbook control, plus all the other features. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, again, please like this video um, and subscribe uh, for more videos like this. You can contact us at 1-800-489-7574 if you have questions or email us at info at mysolo401k.net. Thank you.